And I want to show you guys something. Before I get started, I'm just going to show you this, okay? So, I, I'm going to break this down real quick. So, a uh, huge shout out to these player. This is probably Atlas. I think he was probably where this came from. Uh, Ghost sent this video over to us. So, he, Ghost is part of our, our hero grading sheet. And I want to explain the power level of this hero first. Okay, so Valia, you can see over in the corner, level 18. Uh, the defense doesn't have any, uh, so Zaline is in there, Zemkitha, but they, they don't have any emblems, but you've got Guinevere, you've got Ursania, and this player, Atlas, has all five of uh, his purple guys going mono on Guinevere, which is perfectly fine. Uh, we've got the setup here, Guinevere is swinging, try to do three tiles and kill her, that's cool. Checking the the life total on that to see if you could get it. So purple player doing an amazing job right now. All right, so chat. This is what I want to show you real quick. If you see, we're paused right now. We're looking at life totals. Valia has full life. She's got defensive down from Ursania, or sorry, from Kunchen, and everybody is at full health, okay? Full health, everybody full health, okay? Let's just play this out, right? Easy win, right, chat? That was a perfectly acceptable move. Valia goes off. This is her first time going off. So we'll go back. We'll look at that dot real quick, or we'll look at damage. So this is damage there, 241, 304. 291, 305, 293. Okay, that's all right. That's fine. So this person has officially run out of purple tiles, for sure. Which is more than understandable. They've that's this happens in mono. All right, so he's making the move. He's going to try and potentially set up. But, like, this is still fast. And you can see she's already been hit with Ursania's defense down. That's her second time going off. Uh, that's the second thing I want to show you guys. The Her damage on her is at 90. So this is 90 per turn on all five. So that's one hero chat. Now, a big important thing I want to go ahead and also discuss with you. Quit playing cutesy unicorn rainbow sunshine RPGs and dive into the dark fantasy world of Raid Shadow Legends. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've heard me talk about this game over the last couple of months, and it's for a good reason. They're chilling with over 15 million downloads in the last six months, and tons of my viewers have checked out the game and found that they really enjoy the twist on of a classic turn-based RPG. You can find me here in the game as Anchor7DD. Honestly, this game is really, really fun to play for me. They've had me go in and create a ton of different content videos, and I find myself two hours into making the content video, and I've done absolutely nothing productive because I've just been chilling there playing the game for the last two hours. So one of the things I really enjoy about this game is their hero development that they have set up in place. This is my original hero, Kale. Normally he only goes up to level 30 because he's a rare hero, but they have this really cool way that you can actually progress rare heroes and actually get them all the way up to legendary status at level 60. So it allows anybody that is joining a free-to-play player to progress their heroes and still stay relevant. Now is the time to check out this game because you get exclusive gifts just for watching this video. Go to the video description, click on the special links. If you're a new player, you will receive 100,000 silver, 2 clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards, 1 free champion adjudicator. You can find all these bonus gifts up here in this little chest, but they are only available for the next 30 days, so check it up, check it out while the link is up. Thanks for sponsoring this video, Raid Shadow Legends. Let me get back into the video for you guys. You and and share with you, chat. 
is this entire time that 90 has been taken, they've also gone ahead and been gaining life from, uh, who gains life? I think it's actually Kiona that gains them life. If they had that dot, wasn't gaining the life, uh, Sheshat, Hell, and possibly Panther would have been dead. And chat, this was from five heroes versus Valia. So, um, I want to go ahead and just kind of express that right off the bat as far as the power level of this hero. Keep in mind, the whole team died, um, and I don't think that this person was just throwing tiles. So, that's Valia for you, chat. Uh, let's get into Valia herself. We'll go ahead. She's got 743 attack, 729 defense, and 1303 um, stamina, which I'll get into the actual grades itself, and I'm going to actually grade her real quick, too, while I got, got you with, uh, with me. So 150 damage to all enemies. All enemies receive 204 water damage over the four turns. So that we can see it's already scalable on what's going on depending on her on her stats that she's got um, so it's it's not just two so a lot of times when people see 208 water damage over four turns they just assume that that's um, that that's going to be the base of what it does but when you've got troops involved that damage that um, that dot is changed so the the dot for for the damage with the the troops is going to change as you guys saw with my Valia her dot was at 70, um, was how much damage she was doing, and she's not, mine's not maxed yet. Um, so all fire enemies get 54% attack for four turns, and it deals extra damage to fire. So right off the bat, the really cool thing about Valia that is different than any other hero that we've ever seen is that she is the first hero at fast speed that is also giving a dot to all heroes. And what I say, what I mean by dot is a damage over time. So all enemies receive 208 water damage over four turns. That's what we call a dot. So it's every single turn, damage over time. Every single time a, a turn goes on, damage is taken. So she is the very first hero that hits every single, every single hero for a dot. And she's also dealing at 150 damage to all enemies. Um, not to mention, if you're in fire, you're just getting smashed. And her elemental link, I will say the 10% critical chance for six turns, this also applies to her as well. So she can be running really well um, on, on running with uh, on defense, on giving her critical chance there. On offense, uh, obviously she's going to be really good against Grave Makers or anything like that. Um, She's really, really solid for there. The 54% the attack for four turns, that's like serious. That's legitimately serious. So if any if any hero is going, if they have multiple, multiple, it's going to be insane. And also really good for tile or for Titans when I'm looking at the attack. And then it is also fire specific. So this to me would be a hero that I would fit in, that I will be putting in over my Magni. Even though Magni has higher tile damage, um, I'm going to be running Valia in that high tile damage, um, that high tile damage slot, because it gives the minus 54% attack. So um, right there, off the bat, uh, just amazing. She's got really well-rounded stats, and that's what I like about her. Um, so let me go pull up the hero regrade. So if you guys haven't checked this out already. I have regraded all of the all of the heroes, and if you go through uh, on this, it has the Spanish. So if you want the Spanish version uh, as well, these are also in here too. So, but let me I'm gonna grade her now. Uh, passive for Titan. So the cool thing about it is this stamina and everything like that. This is um this is um. This is uh this is all calculated by by what's going on based on math. So her math grade there at stamina, she's got a B solid B grade. Her direct damage, she doesn't deal uh, a ton of direct damage because it's to a Titan, uh, and her tiles are are pretty average too. But as far as passive here, um, that's an A. Uh, versatility here is a B. So for me, uh, it's weird because like for for her, 
She's fringe. Um, she's fringe A plus on passive, but I can't go ahead and give her an A plus on that. So I'm fine with that being an A. Uh, being an a. Uh, given her tiles, her passive is pretty good. Her stamina is pretty there. See, this is this is where I would give like an A minus B plus grade. Um, but I'm still going to go ahead and give her an A grade just because of how good her passive is. Uh, it's right on the cuff. And her tiles are good enough to where she's right on the cuff of, of an A grade tile grade. Um, so passive on offense, uh, an A there, especially in war, she'll be an A as well. Uh, given her speed and overall, uh, that's an A there. Her passive on uh, passive on defense, I'm giving an A. I wouldn't honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes up to an A plus. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. Uh, as a tank, she's a B. Uh, as a flank, she's an A. As a wing, she's an A. Because uh, I can see her fitting in either a flank or a wing. And it, uh, like I said, for right now. Uh, I could see it going either way. I could see her either going up, um, or I could also see that maybe she's not she's not where she's like she's not as uh, oppressive, and that's why with the regrade we're 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 giving it the ability to go ahead and relook at grades in the future too. So um, I'm gonna give her an A there on those. I wouldn't be surprised if she goes up to an A plus. I also wouldn't be surprised if she goes to a B. But I, I'm going to go ahead and say that she's probably underestimated with how good she actually is. And I think that people are going to find that she's going to be way more annoying um, when you first look at it. And that's the same uh, same feeling that I had when, when Gravemaker first came out, that I felt pretty much the same way. Uh, on Rush Attack, an A. Uh, I think she's just going to get an A... I don't see that she's really excelling in any of these. She could possibly go up to an A plus on bloody, but I think that she's uh, actually she's close to an A plus on bloody because she's hitting every single hero. I think I'm gonna give her an A plus on bloody. Uh, and an overall grade on A. She, so she does have fringe B on Titan. Fringe B on defense, but I'm going to err on giving her an A. I think that she's an absolutely amazing hero. I think that there's going to be lots of great things. And if you want to go ahead and check out these grades here, you can go to anchorgamed.com slash grades. You can see all these grades for yourself. Um, so, yeah, so I think that, you know, you guys should feel really stoked if you do get her. I'm really excited. Me personally, if you look... I have her, she's at 70, I'm going to ascend her immediately right now actually, chat. So I was low on ham, and then I have um, a ton of feeders, let me see, I've got a ton of feeders right now, and I'm going to level her all the way up, and then I'm going to switch her emblems. So, she's, uh, she's definitely going to be used over here for me, for sure. So, hopefully this helps you guys out.